Hey, what's up you guys? This is AJ once again coming at you from the Thwip side. Today, Carl and I are doing an animation domination and taking a look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse animated Batman, Harley Quinn, and Jon Stewart Green Lantern. Now, we're pretty much used to how the packaging looks by now, so I tore into these guys already. So let's just take a look at the figures and see what we got. Real quick before we get started, I just wanted to point out that you may have noticed in addition to my intro, which is the Facebook cover page to the Facebook group Main Event Collectors. It's a group started by Surgecope, who has a YouTube channel here as well. And he reached out to me, inviting me to join the group. And what he started was a community of content co uh, creators from YouTube, where we get together, check out each other's videos, um, help with the subs going up in each channel and just, you know, little community of talking about the things we love. So urge you to check out the Facebook group, um, check out his channel as well as the other channels of the creators on that group. It's a great group. And I want to say thanks again to Surge Scope for, um, inviting me along. First, let's start off with the animated Batman. This is the Target variant that has the blue cape and cowl, which I really like. Um, I love both colors, schemes of Batman, black and gray, blue and gray, but more and more I'm liking the blue more so. I think it's because we don't see it quite as much, but yeah, it really pops and I really like this version. And speaking of which, he looks really nice. Not a whole lot of intricate detail because that's the design of the character on the show of the animated series. But it transitioned really well to this figure, I think. But for the most part, yeah, it's just all basic. But everything is clean. All the paint apps and everything are really clean. The belt, like I said, not much to talk about. But yeah, he looks really cool. The problem being, though, is this cape and cowl are the hindrances of this figure. And we'll look at that real quick as we look at articulation. His head move for head movement, he only gets like that. That's it. No up or down. And yeah, you're gonna find that the articulation on this guy is pretty disappointing. He can only move his arm up like that far because it's the cape is a softer piece, but up in here it's hard and not as forgiving. Um, you can get his arm to go like that far up. He does have a bicep swivel. Single jointed. Single jointed elbow that goes really far. So that's pretty cool though. Moving down to the diaphragm. He does have that and you get a tiny bit of tilt side to side. Um, I don't. If there's a waist swivel in here, it is stuck, but I can't get it to move, so I'm going to say it's not even there. I could be wrong, but I've been cranking on that thing since I've opened it, and I can't get it to budge. That being said, he has, like, no crunch whatsoever. Really pitiful crunch. He does go back a tiny bit. Um, for his wrist, they do the swivel. Hinge up and down, or you can manipulate it to go side and side, side to side, like that one, like this. I got them both, one each. His legs kick only up that far, back very far. He does have the McFarlane hip, and it only moves that much, which is surprising to me so far. The only ones that had decent hip swivel of the figures I've had so far were Batman. And this one, it's non-existent just about. He's got the double jointed knees that go up very far. And then he's got his foot will swivel like that, go up really far. Back really far, and toe articulation. 
For accessories, he comes, of course, with the McFarland stand. It says DC. He comes with a trading card, but because it's a variant, it the variant figure, it's a glossy, which is pretty cool. Just picture from the show, Batman from the show, and of course the bio. Comes with a batarang and his grapple gun. Very simple designs. Again, not anything against the figure. It's the pr presentation of what he's based off the animated series. And then he has his two fisted hands. Or no, sorry. Gripping hands to grip the batarang and the grapple gun. Next up we have Harley, and before ju someone jumps all over me, I did realize that on the back of the card, in her bio, it says this Harley is from a comic, Harley Quinn number 15, but when I saw her in the store, and still right now, to me, she looks just like the animated Harley, so that's how I'm going to display her, so it's my YouTube channel and my display, and I can display her however I want, but just kidding, but looking at her... There she is, and she's standing on the McFarland stand, which I'll, I don't need to show you again. Um, accessory, she comes with a couple cool ones. This comes with this gun, it says bang, which I thought was pretty cool. Looks really nice, but what really impressed me was her mallet. It just looks awesome. I mean, the detail, the finish... It, it just looks like real wood. It's almost like you feel it and you feel that it's plastic. But when you first see it, or anytime you see it, you, you think that, wow, they made a wooden mallet. But no, it's plastic and it looks really nice. And I love how it came out. Like I said, she's standing on her stand. In case you feel like seeing the black stand, it says DC again. <laughs> But here she is, and she looks awesome. Like I said, to me, she looks like just like animated Harley from the Batman animated series. So that's how I'm thinking of her as, once again. But yeah, she looks really cool. Again, really nice paint apps. I mean, no smudging or anything. Just really cool. I know I sound like a, a fanboy, which I am definitely not a fanboy, but... McFarlane figures, man. I never have ever have had any problems with the paint apps yet. I'm sure that'll change someday, but but I just they blow me away with their designs and their detail. But anyway, I am sounding like a fanboy. <laughs> um going over articulation. She has some really nice tilt. She turned her head side to side. Can't look up very far or at all. Looks down a little bit. Arm will go up. Maybe even farther. Really far. Swivels around. Swivels around in case I got off camera. <laughs> Bicep swivel. What is awesome here. This is great. Hasbro pay attention. Double jointed elbows on a female figure. <laughs> Don't see that a lot at all from Hasbro. And it can be done. Pay attention. I'm moving on to her diaphragm. She has a tiny bit of tilt. She can turn side to side. She does have a waist swivel. And together with... Oh, wow. She can tilt a good amount back. And a lot of forward. And then her wrists do all the good stuff with the hinging side to side and all that stuff we've come to know from McFarlane. Leg goes out pretty far. Kicks up really far. The dreaded hip. Not so much, but more than animated Batman. Double jointed knees. They go up really far. Swivel at the boot, goes forward, goes back, both ways really nicely, and a stuck 
toe articulation <laughs> goes holy crap all the way. So yeah, really awesome. Last but not least, we have the animated Jon Stewart Green Lantern from the Justice League cartoon. And he looks awesome. But before we go into that, I know the real reason why you watch these videos is to see the DC McFarlane stand. So there you go. <laughs> but um, he also comes with this little green construct effect. I believe I was having trouble finding out where it's supposed to go. I think it's a headpiece, but it it's tight and it scrapes and it's hard plastic. So I'm either going to break it or scrape the hell out of his head. So I'm not even going to try anymore. I did try. I just wasn't comfortable with it. But it's a nice little addition if you can get it on, maybe heat it up. But what's really cool is he comes with this green construct gun. And this thing is cool. <laughs> it's like all the details in it. Translucent, translucent green. Just really cool addition. Looking over the figure, same kind of style aesthetic as the animated Batman. So, source material, they're very simple, but style, stylistic. Which, they are good looks, but not much to look at for intricate details in action figure form, but... Again, perfect representation, and I really like it. Again, it came out all clean. I really like the green in the eyes. Just really cool looking figure. Yeah, so not much to show off. I mean, I do like the lines in here. But yeah, that's about it. But yeah, really cool looking. Um, articulation wise... His head moves everywhere. This time you do get a little, a tiny bit of up. A little bit of down. Just a smidgen of tilt. His arm will go up that far. Go back that far. Not, not super, well, and it comes in a little bit with that butterfly. He's got the bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, I go up that far, the whole wrist swivel and hinge up and down, or side to side, however you choose, diaphragm swivel, waist swivel, together they, what's up with McFarland, man, they always have their crunches. Pretty good back, but like nothing forward. I'd rather have the forward crunch <laughs> more than the back. But it crunches a tiny bit. Leg goes out that far. Kicks up. Kicks back. Double jointed knees. Go up really far. Pretty much all the same articulation scheme. In about the same uh, range as Batman, minus the cape restrictions to articulation, side to side, up and down foot, forward and backward, or what have you. But yeah, he's really cool. Put his gun on. Oh, and he has a cool Green Lantern ring painted in. Looking at you, Dawnbreaker. Should have had that painted in. And it just plugs in like so. Maybe not. And there you go. So bottom line with these figures are they all three look fantastic. Batman has a lot of problems in the articulation department. I hate to say it's killing me because I just love the look of him so much that he is kind of a disappointment because of the articulation. But still, he'll look good sitting in the back of my shelf just looking brooding and maybe I'll switch out and put his grapple gun in or something but yeah you can't do a whole lot with him um john stewart fantastic i'm looking forward to the comic release of him that was just announced a little while back i'm waiting for that pre-order to go up um see 
terrible. He, he doesn't. He even has trouble standing on the McFarland stand. I've been having trouble the whole video. But yeah, so I'm going to get him out of the way because the more things happen with him, the more disappointed I am with him and the more I get frustrated because I really want to like him. But so we'll just say Batman gets a, a huge boo, Carl. But going back to Jon Stewart, yeah, fantastic. I like him, of course. Not as articulate as I would have liked, but you can do a lot of decent stuff with them. The construct's cool. But I think the real winner out of these three is Harley. Um, for McFarlane, for me personally, she is the best in the articulation department yet, uh, by far yet. And also, I am a Harley fan. I'm not a crazy gonzo Harley fan. I do like and appreciate the character, but... Having her in this form, this presentation, and with what I could do with her and posability wise, I really like her. Um, there's not much more I can say. She's fantastic, and I like it when I'm surprised. So, both of these figures, John Stewart, just because look how awesome he looks, and he does have decent articulation and his construct accessories, they both get a yeah, Carl. I'll try to slip him back in here for my outro. Stay. Pfft, pitiful. Anyway, yeah, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, um, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think about these figures, what you had for experiences with them. How'd you feel about each one? Um, while you're at it, consider clicking like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Main Event Collectors on Facebook and give those guys a look. Um, especially Surge Scope, who brought us all together. A big thank you to him. But check everybody out. I mean, they're great. It's a great community, great, great people so far. And I'm loving the content they're making. So with that being said, this was just a quick video rundown. These figures were older, and I just wanted to share what I thought about them with you guys. And until next time, this is AJ, and I'll catch you on the flip side.